the massive expansion for Monster Hunter Rise. Okay, yeah, Twitch was just being Twitch. It did not automatically Our start when they went on. are working on many new elements that will enhance the experience for players of Monster Hunter Rise, including new stories, locales, monsters, and, although not touched on in the trailer, new hunting actions and quest rank. What trailer? I missed it because of Twitch! Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak is scheduled to release as paid DLC in summer 2022. I'm indifferent. I'm not a Monster Please Hunter fan. Please stay tuned for more information in the future. At least we didn't miss a smash All announcement. Right. Let's see our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Good stuff. Here we go. Party during the day or at night. Ah, good more Mario Party. It's almost time to party in the Mario Party Superstars game. Along with Spaceland and Peach's birthday cake, several other boards make their return. Why Peach's Take birthday cake is one of the worst boards in watch one? Watch out for those Monty Moles. They'll change the board's direction when you least expect it. Travel between two islands and Yoshi's tropical island. Oh man, the size Elizabeth's of those melons. Got the star, but she might swap places with Bowser at the last second. Game! Party day and night in Horror Land. That King Boo statue is harmless during the day, but at night, it'll swipe stars from unsuspecting players. Need a break from boards? Head to Mount Minigames and play in minigame-only courses. Compete against players worldwide for the longest win streak in survival. Or work together in the cooperative multiplayer tag match. I got some good ones in here. Mount Minigames will have seven courses available. All boards and minigames support online play. So invite family, friends, and frenemies, and get ready for the party of a lifetime. Mario Party Superstars launches on the Nintendo Switch system October 29th. A little more than a month away. are available now on Nintendo eShop. A new RPG is in the cards. Ooh, is it going to be fully decked out? Welcome to Voice of Cards. Please press 1 for English. Para Espanol. Oh, wait. I like this music. At the Queen's behest, you'll set off on a fantastical journey to slay a fearsome dragon for honor and fortune. Everything in this realm is represented as cards, from the protagonists, to shops, towns, and environments. In this fresh take on tabletop RPGs, you'll square off in turn-based card battles where your skills and a little bit of luck will determine the victor. I'm usually uh, uh, iffy on uh, card-based battle systems, but this might be worth looking into. A spellbinding experience from the creative minds of Yoko Taro and Yosuke Saito is about to unfold. Voice of Cards, The Isle Dragon Roars, launches on Nintendo Switch October 28th. That... Pre-orders and a free demo will be available today on Nintendo eShop. That's sooner than expected, but let me check out the, let me check out the demo. Become a hero or an absolute disaster of a human being. Play SimCity! Oh, wait. <laughs> you awaken in a hotel room in the city of Revishal, devoid of your memories. Hey, that's just deja vu. Soon, you learn that you're a detective and get entangled in a strange murder case in the groundbreaking role-playing adventure Disco Elysium, The Final Cut. As you interrogate people and uncover clues, internal dialogues will begin. To investigate, you'll need the help of the 24 skills living within you. Your behaviors and available choices will change depending on how you develop these skills, directly impacting how the story progresses. What sort of detective will you become? Disco Elysium, the final cut, launches digitally on Nintendo Switch October 12th. The guy behind the, the desk version is of the melting. Game launch early 2022. Pre-orders for the digital version begin today on Nintendo eShop. Uncover more stories in Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. I need Calamity. to play this! I need to play this! <laughs> Come on, Linkle! Oh crap, it's Godzilla.
Kill the main character, you bastard! <gasps> and about that courageous friend of yours, it seems I owe him as well. Yeah. The king of Hyrule must not fall! You know, you're oh, a giant escort mission. Kid. We'd better partner up on this, don't you think? They won't harm me. Uh, about them not harming you, I, I take that back. Sorry. My fault. Guardian of Remembrance. Next month, okay. New story, uh, battle-tested Guardian, okay, so... What? At least one new character. Ready? Chocobo! Set, chocobo! <laughs> oh, Chocobo Dungeon! And get set for a new racing experience. <laughs> Race as familiar Final Fantasy characters. Like oh, chocobo no! Pokemon it's Chocobo Cards! The finish line. Edge out the competition by using drift boosts to cut corners. It, it, it's, magical stones this was inevitable, medicine, really. Are contained inside items. Collect these throughout courses to cast magic like fire and arrow to blast away opponents. <laughs> Acquire magicites of the same element to cast even more powerful spells. Oh, <laughs> this is Diddy Kong Racing. Each racer also has a turning Vivian into a psychopath. Use it at the right time to turn the tables. Engine customization options will be available, as well as local and online multiplayer. Now is that Vivi or just a generic black mage? That's the next question. 64 players can compete in a bracket-style tournament to so determine got a the racing match. Uh, what's her name from Chocobo everybody? GT races exclusively <laughs> onto Nintendo Switch next year. Oh, I, I gotta get this for the meme. What did you think? Before we show you our next video, we have some news about the last fighter for the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game. Uh, yeah, just had to outright tell us. Well, here we go. Mr. Sakurai, the game's director, will reveal this fighter in the oh. final Mr. Sakurai Presents video on October 5th. Oh, trollish! Trollish! We'll also show you how to use this fighter, so please look forward to it. It's been about three years since the game was released. This will be the last presentation about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I hope you'll check it out. End of an era. Next, please take a look at this. Ah, uh, Splatoon looks like. Quite, you could hear a pin drop or me burping. Oh, that one. <laughs> oh, oh, Kirby! <laughs> oh, Oh, okay, Kirby in the Forgotten Land, a uh, 3D hub, kind of like Air Ride Hub World. It is a 3D Kirby game! It's like they finally got around to making one. Of course, watch, it just ended up in the world of Nier Automata. Now, uh, in before people complain, this is not an Air Ride remake. Yay, full abilities! You finally learned how to use the cutter. There's a boomerang there, Kirby. Oh! 
Hey, that's the that's the monkey from Bendo Kazooie. <laughs> Oh, was not expecting this. Hey, this is supposed to be a winter releases. That was the trailer for Kirby and the Forgotten Land. In this new game, you can freely move around in 3D areas using familiar Kirby moves. The setting also appears to be mysterious, filled with abandoned structures from a past civilization. So, yet another franchise that takes place in the future of our world. The game is scheduled Splatoon. to release in spring 2022. We hope you'll look forward to Kirby's new adventure. Next, we have this to show you. Please take a look. Blinkully. Oh, Animal Crossing. So, Animal Crossing goes to Hogwarts. Done with this. Since its launch in 2020, the Animal Crossing New Horizons game has been enjoyed by many players around the world. New free content will arrive in November. In preparation for its release, we will be airing an Animal Crossing New Horizons Direct in October. In it, we'll go over the content in more detail. Yeah, almost looked like it was setting up a school setting. Please be on the lookout for the air date of this presentation. Let's move on to more Nintendo Switch headlines. And actual games, no more announcing other directs in this direct. Two games, one game update, and lots of fun. Four! More free content is coming to the Mario Golf Super Rush game. Woohoo! Koopa Troopa enters the fairway as a playable character. Nice shot. He played a before. I know he's been in tennis. Dashes to mess with the competition. Ninji! Ninji! Yes! Take advantage of Ninji's blinding speed to outpace opponents. Long time no see on a Ninji. Two courses are also being added. These additions will come swinging in as a free software update later today. I know that was more of a baseball swing, but you can't really do a golf swing. Okay. What's oh, this? Oh, hi. An invitation. Now go do my bidding! To live it's life, everybody picked into my land! Ha! Mickey Mouse and dozens of Disney characters. I'll understand, I'll understand Spend copyright! Spend time with Disney friends. Craft your own whimsical costumes and furniture. And explore delightful Disney-themed worlds. All downloadable content from the original Nintendo 3DS version is included. Disney Magical World 2 Enchanted Edition soars onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. And disclaimer featuring no mini games from uh, Kingdom Hearts. The beloved <laughs> Star Wars game is coming to Nintendo Switch. Blast off to captivating planets oh, and join forces hello. with Jedi, droids, and outcasts in this blend of action, role playing, and adventure. Never got to play Coder. This is a good chance. Good, or will you be lured to the dark side? Uh, your choice. Wasn't that a He-Man villain with a metal jaw there? Star Wars: Knights of the Old Republic, launching on Nintendo Switch November 11th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Oh yeah. There's one eh. thing you must always remember: stay human. This is the city. Humanity's last stronghold Ten million against tats. a virus oh, that turns people into the undead. In the cloud version of Dying Light 2 Stay Human, you'll need to master both parkour and tactical combat to survive in this brutal open-world action RPG. Okay, I thought there was a port of something alone. else. I couldn't remember the name, oh, though. <laughs> three other players in online co-op as you unravel the dark secrets of those in power during the day. Then plunder the layers of the infected at night. Your decisions will shape the story but they'll also have consequences. Well, Opie, so far it's been no an announcement of two other directs for next month, and the new Kirby game was good. Remember, <laughs> stay human. While you're at it, take the prequel on the go. Okay, that's what I was thinking about, yep. <laughs> Platinum Edition. Scavenge for supplies, craft weapons, and face hordes of the infected in a post-apocalyptic open world. 
Dying Light 2 Stay Human Cloud Version launches on Nintendo Switch February 4th, 2022. It's still in winter on this one. demo will also launch the same day on Nintendo eShop. Dying Light Platinum Edition comes to Nintendo Switch October 19th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Utility, morality, or liberty. They're gonna keep decision. In Triangle Strategy, a fiery chronicle of war presented in stunning HD 2D. My apologies. Your actions will lead you through a riveting story that changes based on the decisions you make. I in want to end, I want to like this. Where more. will your conviction guide you? You have gone to the one place I cannot follow. In the men's room to the survey about the demo released in February of this year. The game has been fine-tuned with a focus on elements that received lots of feedback. These include adjustments to the difficulty, improvements to on-screen visuals, camera angle controls. Uh, like every other SRPG out there. Review previous dialogue. <laughs> and streamlined game flow and loading times. More details are now available on Nintendo.com. Splendid. Triangle Strategy will launch on Nintendo Switch March 4th, 2022. Maybe if they release another demo. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. The gameplay looks fun. I just don't like uh, the decision plays. Oh, hello, Dread. <laughs> give me a D. Give me an R. Give me an A. Give me another D. Okay, a disembodied voice with the burps. Burp. One, two, three, there pin! Be a very small opportunity to escape. Don't let your guard down. Oh, Shy Spark confirmed. <laughs> yep, Ridley's got all the spotlights. And for Crade's turn, bitch! Mecha Crade. Oh, he took uh, Dizzy's Insta Kill mode. Metroid Dread. The true Dread is flashbacks of Other M. Samus Aran, the most powerful bounty hunter in the galaxy, embarks on a new mission to the uncharted planet ZDR. Her objectives? Confirm whether the deadly X-Parasite still exists, and figure out why the Emmy research robots in search of it have mysteriously gone dark. And to come up with an original plot Only point, but I'm afraid we couldn't do that. that. Planet ZDR is divided into multiple environments, each with its own elements and organisms. Remnants of the mighty Chozo civilization are also scattered throughout, including evidence that the Chozo may have once called the planet their home. Visit metroid.nintendo.com. How many of these planets Metroid do the Chozo call home anyway? They've been on the Zeus Talon for now the terrain and life forms you may encounter in the Metroid Dread game. They just happen to be, be everywhere sure in the universe. The Metroid Dread reports there as well. You want to prepare yourself for the dangers that lie ahead. And I'm sorry to say that the collector's Metroid edition is Dread still out of stock everywhere. On Nintendo Switch October 8th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Well, Ridley also died that? in SM. Up next, we have news about Nintendo Switch Online. N64, N64, N64! using Nintendo Switch Online since it launched in September 2018. Oh, thank you. <laughs> in addition to the current membership, we'll be adding a new membership plan. As a part of this new plan's content, N64 conferred, baby! You'll be able to play a collection of Nintendo 64 games. Now where's my Mischief Makers? The Nintendo 64 system launched 25 years ago. 
I think this or is Star Fox. Many players their first 3D gaming experience. Didn't punishment, good choice. As well as intense four-player multiplayer action. Yeah, MK64. Switch, up to four people can play select Nintendo 64 games locally or online. Also, with this new membership plan, in addition to the Nintendo oh, Mischief Makers has got to be on there. Sin and Punishment was a treasure game. Mega. Ooh. You can play a collection of games from Sega's Genesis system. Yay, Fantasy Star! This means you'll be Four. able to play these classic <laughs> games whenever and wherever you'd like. The new plan will include all elements of the base Nintendo Switch online membership as well as the ability to play the included Nintendo 64 and Genesis games. This is Nintendo Hopefully Switch Online GBA games come soon too. expansion pack. This new membership plan will be added in late October. Of course, you'll still be able to continue using the existing plans. Also, those who have an existing membership plan can change over to the new plan. Yeah, Sega lost out once Sonic was appearing in Nintendo we'll anyway. We'll share more details about this new membership plan at a later time. Anyone who went through the console wars in the 90s knows exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> For now, however, we'd like to announce the games that will be available when it launches. You'll be able to play the Nintendo 64 game shown here. Uh, no, Mischief Makers. As well oh, as Bloodlines! Genesis and Gunstar Heroes! Pretty we'll good lineup to start with. Oh, Strider! Nintendo 64 games such as The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask and F-Zero X. Yep, you're not getting a new game, guys! You're gonna have to live with that! And Genesis games going forward. Ooh! Furthermore, we prepared Nintendo 64 and Genesis controllers to ensure the games can be played with the same style controls from their original releases. And people just learn how finicky Both the N64 controllers could be. Notice no Mario Party! <laughs> These controllers will be available for purchase by any Nintendo Switch online member. And only the online members. You gotta get the subscription to buy the controller. We hope you'll look forward to this new membership plan. Nintendo Switch Online plus Expansion Pack. Let's see a few more Nintendo Switch headlines. Yeah, we still got about 15 minutes left in direct. Hope so. There's plenty to play in these collections. Collections of all the online games that just showed up, right? Cyberpunk meets fantasy in this three-game collection of cult classic RPGs. Never gonna play As these. As a Shadowrunner mercenary, you'll explore a dystopian future where magic has reawakened and fantasy creatures have come back to life. Immersive branching narratives, skill-based character growth, and gripping turn-based tactical combat await in Shadowrun Trilogy, launching on Nintendo Switch next year. I may not check it out. Perpetual yes! 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 Collection brings together four classic Castlevania games with deathly beautiful graphics. Oh! Dracula X. The rewind, quick save, and button mapping features will also vamp up or ramp so, up I'm your fight. I'm surprised they already ported All Rondo of Blood. of each game, as well as a gallery mode with never-before-seen artwork, are included. Castlevania Advance Collection launches on Nintendo Switch later today. Diddy! An almighty classic returns. Uh, Actraiser! 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 Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Almighty God, only you can save mankind from the forces of Tanzra, oh the Lord of Dark. God. You'll wage war in two phases. First, strike down <sighs> monsters in the side-scrolling action phase to oh. liberate the lands from the grasp of evil. Master this wins! This is the winner! This is the winner of the direct! I don't care what else shows up! Then, cultivate the lands you've liberated in the world-building creation phase. Oh, this music! It's up to you to decide which oh, man, I'm gonna cry. destroyed to make way for new ones, creating a flourishing civilization. As you do so, your powers will increase, giving you an edge in both this phases. Alternate between the this, original this, this is and an opening. rearranged uh, versions Soul of the Blazer, Ludo Guy, Cherry Minga, brand uh, new music. Other 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 quintet games could new be coming after this. New boss battles also await. 
Now the other question is Stardust Pro Renaissance descends onto Nintendo Switch later yes! today. Yes! <laughs> 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 the chapter is about to unfold. Oh! Oh, you. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That's a good time to get a drink. <laughs> Oh, I'll let this play out. <laughs> I have no opinion. I have not yet played Undertale or Deltarune. I like that violin, though. Yeah, you better be a free update to not make you pay for the... Oh, Rune Factory 5! I saw that! I saw that! Okay, another racer. I, I don't know, the Chocobo racer is probably <laughs> tough to beat, but hey, court designer. That's always good. Uh, good to design, but not good to play half of them. And of course, Shimigami Tensei. Another racer? Well, no, this is a demolition. Destroy the background as well. Yay! <laughs> Never go wrong with Pac-Man. Okay, Rune Factory 5. Yes! Release date! Release date! We have confirmation! And a nice galactic punt out of there. How's everything? There are still a few more announcements in today's Nintendo Direct. Koizumi-san. Oh, Miyamoto-san. <laughs> What brings you in? I wanted to make an announcement, so I was hoping I could step in. Eee. Oh, of course. Hi, everyone. I'm Shigeru Miyamoto. I'm announcing my retirement. We previously oh, announced that I have been working with the Hollywood movie studio Illumination and its CEO and producer, Chris Melodandri. Uh-oh. This could be good or bad. <laughs> known for movies like Despicable Me and Sing in making a full-length animated Mario movie for the big screen. And is, is there a sunburn? Today, I wanted to announce its theatrical release timing. Ta-da! The movie will Again, be released in, be good or bad. in holiday 2022. The release date for North America is on December 21st, and we'll be announcing release dates for Japan, Europe, and other regions at a later time. Uh, trailer, so we can know what to expect. Until we can share a glimpse of Mario in action on the big screen. But today, I also wanted to reveal our key cast members, who will be voicing Mario and his friends in the movie. First, of course, is Mario. Uh, cue the Captain America memes right now! He's so cool. Mario will be talking a lot in the movie. Please look forward to Mario as performed by the very talented Chris Sun. Next, Princess Peach will be played by Anya Taylor Joy. I no idea who she is. <laughs> very spirited Princess Peach. Mario's little brother, Luigi, will be played by Charlie Day. Yeah, they actually had to get I'm out to, for you to see this get out the money for multiple actors for the screen. characters. Couldn't just bring in Charles Martin. Bowser will be played by the one and only Jack Black. I'm expecting a monster performance by Jackson. The comedian Keegan Michael Key will be playing Toad. I'm looking forward to great comedic moments. Oh, now we know what Toad has under his hat. Even though Both. this is a Mario movie, Donkey Kong will also be making an appearance. He will be played by Seth Rogen. Well, anyone who's played Donkey Kong 94 I'm knows it's a prequel to, to Mario. So. Donkey Kong by Seth's son. He needs to say Banana Slammer. And of course, Charles Martinet, who has voiced Mario and many more Nintendo characters in our games over the years, is also involved and will be appearing in surprise cameos in the movie. Yeah, complain about Mario's performance. We also oh, have more Keegan. incredible talent joining the film to play some of our other beloved characters. Spike! That is all I can share Not with the Spike you from the 93 movie, movie, by the way. The one from Wrecking Crew. This is a very collaborative project between Illumination and Nintendo. We've all been coming up with all so sorts of So Cranky's gonna ideas, complain aside a Donkey Kong Country movie. I'm, I'm calling that right now. ...that is a little bit different from making games. It may be a while until we can share more updates, but I hope you'll look forward to it. It's out in Poison three months. There should be a trailer. Please look forward to Mario's adventure jumping into the world of motion pictures. 
Oh, he already yes. had one! We'd like to show you this. Bob Hoskins already did! Oh, there's Splatoon. <laughs> yeah, this was inevitable. Catch tune. Oh, they're bringing in the Star Wars droids. And more fall technology. Secret crossover confirmed. Oh, nude under there. <laughs> What's the game rated? And cut away to a little squidling doing their homework. Yep, gotta get your school assignment time before you can play. Oh, that's it. Good night, everybody. Oh, wait. <laughs> You're like one of the nightmares in Mary Skelter. We bring you the hijacking of the footage, we present you more of the same footage. And cats. Uh, so is this a one-player open-world mode sort of thing? Yeah, Kelly and Reed, two best characters in the series. And some kind of juggernaut. Bitch. Oh, they really couldn't decide what font to use there. And some sort of chicken thing <laughs> right there. What the heck is that? Oh, urchin mode. And the pop aliens are not far behind. Hello, everyone. I'm a researcher from the Squid Research Lab. I've been meticulously studying the mysterious squids that can transform into humanoid form. You're just our host in disguise. What you just saw was the latest research footage from Splatoon 3. Allow me to share a bit of what we know so far. Splatoon 3 takes place in Splatsville. It's known as the city of chaos. Centered around Splatsville are the Splatlands, a place long in City of Chaos, wasn't that a Shaq Fu subtitle? Creatures such as squids and octopuses. Buildings spanning several generations are crammed into the city, creating its distinctive culture. In the Splatlands, Turf War. Keep watching, I'm not going to blink at all during this whole thing, by the way. Its basic rules are unchanged. Two four player teams compete against each other to ink the most area. However, the trend seems to have undergone a major shift, with the existence of new main and special weapons confirmed in the footage. It's a rather fluid in the change. portion of the footage, we were able to observe activities from Story Mode, the single-player campaign. Yep. Return of the Mammalians. So, wait a sec, wouldn't that be us, therefore we're the villains in this one? appears to be the theme of Story Mode this time around. What could this possibly mean in a world where all mammals, except for two cats, have vanished? It means a lot of camera cuts. It appears that there's still a lot to uncover. I'm still not blinking, by the way. We'll I'm holding it. Research. I'm and holding it. Quick, cut away. Cut away. My eyes are drying out. Become available. Your sunglasses won't hide it. Oh, Please look you forward to more. <laughs> Splatoon 3. Uh... Uh, that's, I, I give that a C for a Jojo pose. Updates to come. See you next time. So, what did you think? Splatoon 3, taking place in a new world, is scheduled to release in 2022. Please Before the delays. to future updates. Okay, this is the last trailer we have to show you today. Please take a look. Oracle remake, Oracle remake for Zelda. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> 
Astral Chain 2? Well, any typical kaiju, no matter what they throw at it, doesn't slow down. Our weapons are useless against him! We never would have thought one would approach us from behind! Yep, no blood, so you just gotta push them over and they die. You made me bleed my own non-blood! Ah. Ah, uh, Sagara Sosuke, that is not your Bontakun outfit. Oh, hi. <laughs> there you are! <laughs> What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Yep, new hairstyle. It seems I'm unfashionably late, but I'm ready to give you everything you want. I yep, just gotta iron out, out everything. Uh, leave the Final Fantasy Ten Two dance moves out of this bayonetta. Rather hairy situation. Round one, fight! So, does this classify her as a Beastmaster now? Either that, or this was the unexpected trailer for Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I mean, she, you're just controlling a blade right there, right? Right? Uh, I'm just gonna scrape on through the situation. Notice no release date. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I stand corrected. Sort of. And in the end... Still no Metroid Prime 4. Dante? What you just saw was the latest trailer for Bayonetta 3. Yep, it still exists. We announced this game in 2017, and we thank you for your patience. This game will launch next year. We promise. We really mean it we this time. We look forward to Bayonetta's new encounters. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. Well, that, as they say, is that.